he lifts the veil of his bride to reveal her face, and she suddenly slaps him in the face. She gets mad, shouts, and starts to eat the flowers she was holding. She beats her groom with them and shouts, saying that she will never allow him to hurt her. She tells him to leave her alone. The surprised groom asks what she is talking about. She says that he knows exactly what she means and tries to run away. The guests try to calm her down, but she manages to escape. The groom shouts her name, asking her to return. One of the guests runs after her. The groom also runs after his fleeing bride. She then finds a car and jumps inside it from the window. The groom calls a bike taxi. She instructs the taxi driver to chase the car. He takes out his blazer and shouts at his bride, asking what's wrong with her. After a long chase, he manages to stop the driver. He gets off the motorcycle and approaches the car. He grabs the car driver out of the vehicle and threatens him. The angry groom asks what he is doing. The driver says that he's only a taxi driver. The bride shouts at her groom, Gerard, to leave him alone. Gerard releases the driver and enters the car. He asks his wife what she is doing. The woman cries and shouts. She slaps him and tells him to leave her alone, and she runs away. The husband shouts to his bride, Stella, to wait. The guest, who was following the couple, gets out of a black car. Meanwhile, Gerard manages to stop Stella. He grabs her arms and says that he's really confused and doesn't understand why she's doing that. She asks him if he doesn't remember what he did with that woman. The man asks what she is talking about and why she is accusing him of such things. She says that she has a video of his infidelity on her phone. He says that it was her in that video. He remembers that she sent him a message to arrange a date, and she said that she was going to be in disguise. She says that she never arranged such a date with him. He says that he's sure that she sent him that message when they had that different kind of date. She says that he's imagining things that never happened. And then she shows him the footage. He asks if she's sure that the woman isn't herself. He says that he's really confused. A woman wearing a red dress approaches and insults them. She reveals that she is the disguised woman in the video. Stella says that she is her best friend and asks how she could be such a snake in the grass. The snake in the grass says that she always loved Gerard, but he always preferred Stella. Stella asks her how she was capable of doing that. The unfaithful friend says that she always gets what she wants. She says that Gerard always refused her when she tried to show affection to him. She says that one day, she stole Stella's phone and sent him a message, arranging the special date. She says that she finally managed to have a love affair with the man that she always loved. And explains that she recorded everything because she wanted to keep that memory alive for the rest of her life. Stella asks her why she never said anything if they were great friends. And says that she doesn't understand how she was capable of stabbing her back like that. She tells Gerard that she always loved him but that Stella came up and ruined everything. Gerard tells Stella that he is telling the truth because the unfaithful friend has just proved it. Stella says that her alleged best friend nearly ruined her marriage with him. Gerard tells Stella to calm down because he can't stand her friend. 
He says that he wants to fix everything and carry on with their marriage. Stella says that she is looking terrible now because her clothes, hair, and makeup are ruined. He says that it doesn't matter to him. She says that she has also lost her best friend. She slaps her unfaithful friend in the face and puts a crate full of rubbish on her head. The woman screams and says that she is going to pay for humiliating her like that. She throws her unfaithful friend to the floor. Gerard tells her to get lost. Angry, she gets up and runs away. Stella says that she's sorry because she looks awful, but she still wants to marry him because he's a good man. He says that he's relieved that they sorted everything out and that she still loves him. He kisses her and carries her in his arms. <laughs>